Hey Cherubs, it's Matt. Today we're going to talk about why lectures suck. It's hard for me to bring this up because I'm an educator who likes to give lectures. And I mean, come on, you're basically watching a lecture right now. As a physician, I've literally spent years of my life sitting through lectures. And what do I have to show for it? Huh, <sighs> well, at least I have you, Pager. No one must ever know of our forbidden love. Think about the best lecture, speech, or sermon you've ever attended. Take your time. Don't worry, I don't have a social life. It's like in life, you got to have a little sadness once in a while so you, you know when the good times come. I'm waiting on the good times now. Got one? Okay. How much do you remember about it? And how long was it? See, if you're like most people, then in the space of an amazing one-hour lecture, you probably only remember one or two bullet points at most. And if I'm being honest, sometimes I only remember how I felt. You know, some vague but optimistic sentiment. This is bad. And keep in mind, I'm just talking about the best lectures. What about the other 99%? If I'm being honest, I can't remember a single morning report or grand rounds talk that I've attended over the past 10 years. Lectures are low yield teaching activities because they're passive. You know, someone is chewing your food for you. Most people learn by doing. That's why I haven't learned Japanese just because I watch a lot of anime, I haven't become a professional athlete by watching sports, and I didn't learn how to drive by reading a manual. If you want to learn, then you really need to practice by seeing real patients. That's not to say that lectures have no value. Sometimes as an educator, you have no choice. If there's one of you and a hundred trainees, you can't bring everyone to the bedside and have them do a prostate exam. But as a trainee, you're going to need some proactivity on your part. It's up to you to apply what you've learned. It helps if you come to lecture with a purpose. What questions do you have about how to manage your current patients? How will this lecture change your management? If you show up to a lecture with the hopes that you're going to become a better doctor by diffusion, just save yourself the trouble and watch something entertaining. A final word to you educators out there. And let's be real. If you're in medicine, even if you're a trainee, you're an educator too, because it's part of your job to teach the underclassmen how to do your job. Remember the limitations of your own lectures. I used to get upset at my trainees when I'd tell them to do something, and they'd forget. What's wrong with them? Did they not have ears? Was I not speaking English? No, it's just that people forget, you know? You simply can't remember every single thing that someone tells you, so sometimes you need to repeat things again and again before they stick. and. That's just part of the human condition. And that's part of the reason why I have stuff on YouTube. Again, I'm fully aware that on your first viewing, you're going to leave here with two bullet points at best. But maybe you'll come back again later when you have more questions. And I hope that each time you watch these videos, you learn something new. So I'm going to leave you with that now because I have a Japanese lesson that I want to watch.